Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions or potential actions for the near future. As always, keep in mind these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Cancer watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. And let's jump right in for Cancer. Angel Spirits. Messages, guidance, please, for Cancer. Regarding the person they're thinking about connecting with at this time, Spirit, what do we need to know? For the sign of Cancer. What do we need to know, Spirit? The person that Cancer is connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about this person that Cancer is thinking about or connecting with? What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Cancer? Okay. I was going to cut the deck, but these wanted to come out. Okay. What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Cancer, towards the sign of Hmm. Page of Wands, Six of Wands, Five of Swords. The Five of Swords. I'm telling you, this card keeps coming up in recent readings that I've been doing for the different signs. It's a card about conflict. It's a card about not playing fair. Could be interpreted as someone that's being deceptive because they're not playing fair. They're trying to like one up you or take advantage of a situation and so they tend to hide things um but it could just be that there's been a fight or a situation that hasn't gone well in a connection the five of swords page of wands this is someone taking the initiative to start something new they're motivated they're passionate they're eager And the Six of Wands. So I feel like someone might be wanting to address this conflict, whatever this conflict is. We'll see when I clarify. You know, and hoping for some sort of success here with the Six of Wands. The bottom of the deck um, is the Seven of Pentacles. So I almost get the sense that someone's not very confident of the outcome or worried about how things will play out. The future of this connection or the future of, I guess, this conflict Will all my work pay off? Will all of my efforts go to waste? That's Seven of Pentacles energy. So let's get some more energies out here. Tell me more for Cancer. What do we need to know about the energy with this person that Cancer is thinking about connecting with? What do we need to know, Sarah? What are the energies this person's bringing to this connection? With cancer. Bountiful harvest, growth, abundance, patience. Okay. These don't want to go back in. Broken silence, cold shoulder, restoring balance, and standing firm. Okay. Unhealthy attachments at the bottom of the deck. So these cards here that I see is kind of the same um, same situation that I see on the tarot cards. Someone wanting success, restoring balance, bountiful harvest. This is definitely a symbol of, you know, the situation being balanced out, growth, creativity, abundance. And then I have here broken silence, cold shoulder. So someone needing to speak after not speaking, someone opening up, being vulnerable after, you know, being closed off cold shoulder could also be there's not a lot of communication someone is feeling shut out or cold or out in the cold that kind of energy but i think when i see cold shoulder and broken silence it's like someone has not spoken for some time and now they want to break their silence and then we have standing firm defense resistance and courage so this could be somebody standing firm against an actual like challenge 
or someone that is being resistant to another person or standing firm against another person. We'll see if that comes up. So basically, I still see the same um, energies reflected in the tarot. So let's clarify these energies. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? The Fool, New Beginning, Taking a Risk, A Leap of Faith. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Page of Swords. So this could be somebody wanting to reach out, talk, have a conversation. And this could be risky for someone with the Fool. Maybe there was a fight, a verbal fight, an argument. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? The Moon, yeah. Okay, so this is clearing the air. There's the world, very similar to the Fool. So when I see the Moon here, this is Pisces energy with the Page of Swords. These two cards together make me think of breaking the silence. Because the moon is what's unknown, what's hidden, secrets, mysteries, illusion. You know, there's confusion because you can't see something clearly with the moon. Um, but the page of swords is all about clarity, information, the truth. Seeing something for what it is and speaking about it or communicating about it. So I feel like the Fool, the Page of Swords, and the Moon with the Five of Swords is almost like someone wants to break the silence about this problem in order to have a new beginning of some sort. The world, the Fool, this is symbolizing new beginnings. But the Eight of Swords is right after the world. So there could be fear or someone feeling trapped here. Tell me about the Page of Wands. What do we need to know about the Page of Wands, Spirit? Why is the Page of Wands here for Cancer? The Seven of Wands, okay. Well, the Seven of Wands, I this Standing Firm card was inspired by the Seven of Wands. So I find it interesting that it's here. Tell me about the Page of Wands. What's this Page of Wands? The Hermit Virgo energy. Again, this energy is like this cold shoulder, standoffish withdrawn away and someone that's that's far away or feels far away someone that purposefully is not i don't know it's almost like with the hermit and the seven of wands someone has not wanted to deal with something instead they've withdrawn to talk to to think about it with the hermit and cancer this is a reading about your person's energies, but feel free to flip this energy if it resonates for you. Um, tell me about the Page of Wands. I feel like your person has done a lot of thinking about this issue. And it could have been that they were not honest because I have the Five of Swords in the Moon. Tell me about the Page of Wands. What do we need to know about the Page of Wands? The King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Well, these the King of Cups um, tends to be a very caring, compassionate person, emotionally intelligent. Um, interesting. When I see the King of Cups with all these other energies here, I feel like someone has really been like digging deep, getting in touch with how they feel, what their feelings are about a situation, about a person. But I feel like at the same time, there's a distance. So maybe they're not sharing these feelings. But the Page of Wands is someone that takes initiative. They take steps to do something. So maybe they're just thinking about what steps to take. But it's more important that they figure out why they want to take those steps. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Cups. The past. Memories. Nostalgia. Special connections. That's the Six of Cups. So when I have it here with the King of Cups, I feel like someone is maybe reflecting on the past, thinking of the past, has emotions tied to the past or to a specific person. Um, tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? 
Why is it six of wands here? What's the six of wands about? Three of swords, four of pentacles. Hmm. Why is the six of wands here? Why is the six of wands here? Yeah, eight of swords. So I feel like this is what, again, what someone wants is success or victory with the six of wands. That's what the six of wands represents. But these energies here, someone would need to let go of their fear or pain or heartache or disappointment, whatever this Three of Swords represents. I feel like they're holding on to some sort of pain or difficulty. And it's messing with their head with the Eight of Swords or it's creating fear. Um, so how can you have success when you're holding on to something like this? when you have fear holding you back. I just don't, to me, it doesn't really make much sense. Tell me more about this Three of Swords. Okay, we have the Star, Aquarius Energy, and the Nine of Wands. Interesting. Well, the Star is about healing, hope, faith, and the Nine of Wands is someone that's been hurt They've been through some difficulties and their guard is up. I think that this person is thinking about a hurt that they have caused or pain that they've caused someone else. And maybe they're hoping to heal that pain, but it's not so easy because this Nine of Wands is someone that's been hurt before and they're hard to approach. It's hard to break down these walls. I think someone has held back or has held back from you, Cancer, or held back telling you something because they know that they've hurt you. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Six of, yeah past comes up back up. Tell me about the four of pentacles. Someone's holding back because of the past. Tell me about the four of cups. Ten of wands, burdens, obligations, a heavy weight that someone's carrying. And then there's justice, Libra energy, balance, restoring balance. Once again, I feel like someone wants to fix a problem, restore balance, make something right with justice but the past is holding them back something happened in the past that's that this person is still affected by or still thinking about or sees as kind of like a barrier or an obstacle tell me more about this person's energies towards cancer tell me more spirit about this person's energies towards cancer their energies towards cancer at this time I would take it all back if I could yeah there's the past again what else for cancer I'll be messaging you oh interesting breaking the silence Bottom of the deck, this is out of my control, okay? So I feel like there's something else here that I haven't like been able to figure out just yet. Let's see, let's see if we can get in. What else do we need to know about this particular person? Spirit, what else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this particular person that Cancer is, has, or will be dealing with? Occupation, working, um, focused, working on something. What else do you need to know about this person? Gift. Okay, wanting to make an offer of some sort, an opportunity. Okay, so I feel like this person is working on bringing you something. Making you some sort of an offer, a proposition. What else do you need to know? How about this person? 
What else do I need to know about this person? Okay, so this is not for everyone. It's just a message I, a message I just got. There's someone watching that this is for. But I'm picturing um, exchanging gifts, like actual gifts. For some reason, there's a memory tied to this, like a core memory to like giving each other a gift. It's almost like this person wants to recreate this moment. It's very special. I don't know. It's it's a this person thinks about this a lot. Tell me more about this person's energies. Maybe you gave them something special or they gave you something special or even if it was a small gift or small token, it meant a lot. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Oh yeah, something happened between you and this person. So you're not together. And this person's having regrets. I would take it all back if I could. You don't know how hard it was. Interesting. Why wouldn't you know how hard it was, Cancer? Did you just stop talking right away? Maybe they haven't been open with how difficult it was for them. Bottom of the deck, I regret lying to you. Mm, maybe this person wasn't honest with you about something cancer. Maybe you found out. Maybe this was like a deal breaker for you. Okay, so let's see what are, what are your person's intentions. Mm, like a sister. What are this person's intentions? towards cancer what are their intentions spirit towards cancer for the near future what are this person's intentions and that's potential actions for the near future what are their intentions potential actions for the near future when it comes to cancer their intentions Okay, let's see. The Fool, again. A new beginning. This, that's where I feel, I feel like that's their main intention, is to start something with you. Wow, the tower. Oh, man. This tower is very loaded. <laughs> I don't, it's, it's a big tower. Something very unexpected. The Six of Cups again. Something very unexpected. Haven't, I don't know, Cancer. Other readings I've done for you guys. Check out your playlist, by the way. I have a playlist specifically for Cancer readings. It's linked in the description box. And there's like a tower for you in Sagittarius that's like very significant. Um, but wow, the Fool, the Tower, the Six of Cups. Let's start with the Six of Cups, because it's, it's following us, the Six of Cups. It keeps coming up. There's, you know, the Six of Cups can symbolize many things. The past, nostalgia, memories, good memories from the past, childhood memories. Um, it could even be interpreted, like, in love readings as, like, a soulmate or a special bond that you have with someone. But I feel like for this person, there's something with the past specifically. Tell me about this Six of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Ah. The Page of Wands again and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. Wow. Yeah, I feel like this person, they want to have like a do-over with you or start something new with you or revisit the past. The past is very important for this person. Either they want to talk about the past or initiate something from the past or the past still matters to this person. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower, please, spirit. Wow, the moon, Pisces energy. This is definitely going to be unexpected, Cancer. I'm not just saying that, just to say it. The moon is something that you can't see clearly with the moon. There's mysteries, there's secrets. And with the tower, it's like an unexpected event. So this could be like an unexpected visit from this person or an unexpected message from this person something that you didn't really see coming tell me about the tower 
Why is the tower here? The seven of cups. Oh my goodness. Illusions. Choices. The moon and the seven of cups together, I immediately think of illusions because the seven of cups is a card about having many options. They all look good at face value, but they're not all the same. They don't all lead to the same future. So it's very important that you choose the right cup, that you see something clearly. I think that this might be not just unexpected, but also like some sort of reveal, like an illusion that is revealed or someone that is open or vulnerable um, with something that they might have thought was real and it wasn't. So for example, maybe this person they lied to you because they thought they felt a certain way or saw things a certain way or they thought that they knew something but it turned out that they were misled or they didn't see the situation clearly enough or they didn't have the maturity to make the right choices i think i'm gonna have to extend this because i feel like there's a lot more here let's look at the fool tell me about the fool what do we need to know spirit about the fool Wow, temperance, Sagittarius energy, balance, restoring harmony, resolving an issue, things happening slowly over time, something's coming together with patience and time. Tell me about the fool. So whatever they want to start, I feel like this person doesn't want to just rush. I feel like they want to start off on the right foot, but maybe take their time. If that makes sense. Tell me about the fool. What else do we need to know about the fool? The knight of swords. Okay, let's talk first and see where that goes. Let's talk about what happened. The five of wands is at the bottom of the deck here. Let's talk about what happened. So there could be a message coming in. Or this person could be initiating a conversation with you where it's like, let's talk about the past, but also let's decide our future. What do we want, what do we want our future to be? Interesting. I'm going to take this to the extended cancer. I'm going to be clarifying these energies a little bit more here. Um, and then I'm also going to look at um, the challenge, the obstacle, that three of swords. Um, the Nine of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the holding back. I feel like that's an obstacle, but there's a reason. There has to be a reason for it. I think it could be fear, but I want to know if there's anything else there. So if you want to know more, check out the extended. It'll be linked in the description box. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.